Welcome to Nashima News. I am Rizwan Asad. And today, the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, presented his 14th budget. He surpasses former Chief Minister uh, Ram Krishna Hegde, who had presented 13 budgets. Siddharamaya, as a Finance Minister, has uh, presented seven uh, budgets, and today, as a Chief Minister, he has uh, presented his 14th record budget. And uh, in this budget, it just I will be speaking on the highlights of the budget. Siddharama allots 52,000 crores for implementing five guarantees, and he has also allotted a whopping 45,000 crores for Bangalore City. Chief Minister of Karnataka. Uh, Siddharamaya on Friday who presented the budget for 2023 in Karnataka Assembly allotted a significant budget of 52,000 crores for the implementation of five schemes promised by the uh, Congress party during the election uh, and it was there in the manifesto. Congress party uh, had uh, you know promised the people of Karnataka that they will be implementing this within uh, coming to power within one or two months and one scheme has already been implemented and the other four will be followed. Out of these schemes, the government has successfully rolled out Shakti and Gruha Jyoti initiatives schemes and the aim of this program is to uplift the lives of the poor and provide them with essential resources and opportunities. Siddharama is allotted a whopping 45,000 crores exclusive for the development of Bangalore, the capital city of Karnataka. The fund will be utilized for various projects such as white toppling of the roads, roads infrastructure enhancement, waste management system, expansion of metro network world, network with objective of improving traffic condition and increasing metro connectivity. An impressive sum of rupees 30,000 crores has also been allotted specifically for number metro Bangalore projects in Bangalore. The government has also announced a provision of rupees 500 crores for the establishment and function of Indra Canteen which aims to provide affordable meals to the underprivileged sections of the society. Additionally, in a commendable move, the government has introduced a life and accident insurance scheme worth 4 lakh rupees for employees working with e-commerce delivery sectors including those associated with platforms like Swiggy, Zomato and Amazon. In addition to this, the Chief Minister has also increased uh, a duty of excise duty for the uh, Indian made uh, liquor by 20%. This includes 10% hike in the excise duty. Uh, on beer, raising it from 175% to 185%. I'll be getting you the list of uh, the allocations uh, which the uh, Siddharama is allotted for Bangalore City. Rupees 1411 crores to Bangalore Water Supply and Sewage Board for upgrading 20 sewage treatment plants by March 2026. Rupees 263 crores for construction of new flyover provide access from Sri Vishweshwaraya Terminal at Bipanhali. Rs. 800 crores for white toppling of 100 km of major roads, Rs. 273 crores for development of 83 km of high density corridors such as Old Madras Road, Bellari Road, Tumku Road, etc., Rs. 1000 crores for Bangalore Suburban Railway Project, Rs. 1250 crores for effective disposal of legacy waste, liquid waste management, and to control the flow of pollutants from uh, into the lakes and uh, rivers, Rs. 100 crores for Indra Canteen. Rupees 100 crores for Bangalore Solid Waste Management and Corporation Limited to collect and treat and dispose waste in a scientific and sustainable manner. manner. The government has also planned to mobilize Rupees 1000 crores through green bonds for infrastructure development in urban areas. Rupees 10 crores each for regional basketball training center in Bangalore. The budget has also proposed five traffic police stations, six women police stations to be set up in Bangalore City, a total of 2000. 454 posts to be created in two phases. Rupees 5 crores to be set up fully automated and centralized blood bank management system in Bangalore Medical and Research College. And uh, the total outlay of the state budget, which was announced by uh, Siddharama, is 3.2 lakh crores of for the year 23 24. Coming to the allotment of uh, 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 amount of budget to the minorities. Uh, the Siddharamaya government has allotted 2101 crores to the minority department. That is, I'll give you a breakup. Uh, the, he has said that 2101 crores, in addition to the emphasis in budget, education, and job creation of minority department, provided 60 crores for resumption of scholarship of minority community. 
54 crores for completion of shadi malls and community bhavan to rupees 30 crores for upgrading of moraji schools residential schools rupees 73 crores as education loan and rupees 3360 crores for development of minority uh, community colonies and rupees 5 crores has been allotted for uh, language labs for teaching kannada and english for the minority community and rupees 3 lakh under the uh, swalwabani sharati yojana and uh, rupees 100 crores has been allotted to uh, christian development corporation and 25 crores for the jain community and uh, the sum of rupees 25 crores have all uh, been allotted for the construction of gurudwara and 5 crores for the other gurudwaras in the karnataka state so a total of 2101 crores has been uh, totally allotted for the karnataka minorities uh, which includes uh, the uh, christians uh, 100 crores and uh, for the jains uh, 25 crores it remains to be seen this budget is for the nine months and uh, you know uh, with Lok Sabha elections around the corner Siddharamaya has given this budget and the opposition was all out gun saying that this budget has uh, is meaningless it is always the same story where when uh, budget has been announced the opposition criticizes Rizwan Asad Nashemun News